3D from AI models is here. I typed in Pikachu and then got this in seconds. I then clicked up res and got this model. Pretty wild, right? Well, I'm gonna show you exactly how I did it. This is brand new AI. It's a complete disruptor. There's so much to talk about here, but let's just get into the specifics. So first you need to get Discord and then join Luma AI. Then all you do is you type in slash genie and type in any prompt you want. For this, I simply typed in Pikachu and within seconds, this was the result. Unbelievable. From there, you just click refine on the model that you like the best. From there, it takes about 20 minutes to render your high res version after waiting for a little bit this is what i got how crazy is that i exported it and boom there you have it all right so let's dive deeper and i'm going to show you how i made this first we're going to need to get blender because it's free go ahead and import the glb model that you have downloaded now delete the cube Go to your model. We're gonna go to the top right, click on this material icon, which is going to allow you to see all of the material. Then because I'm an idiot, we're gonna add a box back in. Go ahead and reshape that up, rotate, scale, bring it down just a little bit. Great. And then we're gonna go ahead to the material option on the right, go ahead, turn it green. Then we're gonna go ahead and add a sun and we're gonna spin that around then we're gonna spin our model around just so it looks a little bit better perfect then we're gonna go to import we're gonna go ahead and add in another model i made this is just a tree Ta -da! go ahead scale that up go ahead move it around duplicate it you know the drill duplicate it some more great let's get some composition going all right that's starting to look good we're gonna go ahead and now add in some grass and you already know the drill. We're gonna rescale this, reposition it, duplicate it a few more times, and even some more times, and even more. And boom, just like that, we have a pretty good looking shot. Now, this is something that I suggest, if you go into your sculpt mode, the thing with photogrammetry or any of these AI models is that the lines aren't always perfect, so I like to fine tune it. Here I am just grabbing the grab tool and I am just kind of rounding off the ears so they look a little bit more natural versus jagged. Great, look at that. How nice, huh? All right, so one last thing we're going to do is we're going to get a Charmander. So I went ahead and made that import the Charmander. Boom, you know it, we're gonna move him, rotate him, and line up the composition. Doesn't that look swell? And then I just did one little pass with Eevee's render, and boom, look how good that looks. I mean, a few, like a month or two ago, that would have been so hard to make, or you would have had to have bought assets, or would have taken hours to recreate that in 3D. So amazing. Today's amazing sponsor is designs.ai. They do essentially everything. They have a great text to image generator with prompt guides that allow you to quickly select between ratio, style, color and tone, lighting and composition. It is such a time saver. They also have video and photo templates for any social media you can think of. It is amazing. Lastly, they have an audio to text feature that is so fast and the quality is great. There is so much more to talk about. I'm gonna be making a ton more videos this week on how to make your model look even better. Really, I do view this as just kind of a starting point to making a better model, but honestly, if you just wanted something in the background, like a tree or any sort of element, this would probably do just fine. Put a little depth of field on it and you can't even tell. If you guys wanna see more information on this, make sure to subscribe. I have so many more videos I'm gonna be making on this. It's absolutely crazy tech. Hope you guys enjoyed. Take care.